Bitcoin rises with confidence in volatile week marked by Fed decision. JPEX exchange shuts down operations as SEC probe escalates. SWIFT focuses on CBDC interoperability as three central banks begin beta testing. Coinex invites hackers to negotiate promises but bounty reward. Mark Cuban loses nearly $900,000 on crypto wallet MetaMask. Hello and welcome to 3 Auto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets were trading flat to positive in the beginning of the week as investors focused on the FOMC meeting scheduled later in the week. Bitcoin rallied towards $27,000 crucial levels. Ruchi Sharma joins us to tell us how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 1% at 34,800 points. An interesting piece of news, banking behemoth Deutsche Bank has recently partnered with Taurus, a Swiss-based cryptocurrency firm, to offer a new custody service for its institutional clients. The banking institution will store Bitcoin as well as tokenize real-world assets for its customers. In other news, Base and ZK Sync era, Ethereum Layer 2 networks have registered transactions per second of 12.93 and 12.62 respectively, exceeding TPS of Ethereum network which stands at 10.18 TPS. Additionally, Base network also always witnessed a 49.76% increase in TPS in the past week, reports highlighted. Meanwhile, Ethereum network's whole ski testnet which was launched earlier failed due to data input error in the network's genesis files. Holsky testnet aims to become the biggest Ethereum testnet with 1.4 million validators, which is more than double the number of validators on the main Ethereum network. After the network's failure, the Ethereum ecosystem plans to relaunch the testnet in the upcoming week, reports highlighted. Moving on, OKX, one of the popular crypto exchange's native token OKB, has burned approximately 6.14 million tokens worth around $255 million. Well, this has set a new record for the value and the number of OKB burned analysts said. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $1.07 trillion mark, increasing 1% in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume increased by 21% to $21 billion. Going forward, Chainlink price witnessed a surge of more than 5% in the last 24 hours after Chainlink's recent partnership with traditional financial players, including a successful tokenization test in partnership with SWIFT. In addition, the Australia and New Zealand banking group used Chainlink's cross-chain protocol to test out ADC coin. Interestingly, the Ethereum network witnessed 1.03 million daily active addresses per day compared to Bitcoin's 743,800 and BNB chains 1.02. According to data from Sentiment earlier, number of active Ethereum addresses surpassed 1 million, the second highest in Ethereum's history after the peak reached on December 9, 2022. Bitcoin was trading at $26,960, up 1.4%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 0.3%, trading at $1,640. BNB was up by 2% to trade at $219. Solana SOL was up 1.7% and was trading at $19.4. Cardano's ADA token was up by 0.1% to trade at $0.25. Polygon Matic was trading up by 0.8% to trade at $0.52. Shiba Inu was trading up by 0.1%. Polkadot was up by 0.5% to trade at $4.2. However, Avalanche AVAX was trading at $9.2 dollars lower 1%. Doge the popular meme coin was trading down by 0.2% at $0.062. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.49 down by 0.3%. Thanks Ruchi and now back to the headlines. Crypto exchange JPEX has suspended some trading activities on its platform as local and international regulatory scrutiny into the company escalates. In a statement issued on September 13, Hong Kong's SEC raised grave concerns about JPEX labeling it an unregulated virtual asset trading platform and accusing social media influencers of actively promoting its products and services in the country. In response to the SFC's warning and unfolding investigation by the police, JPEX published a press release on September 17 informing 
customers that all transactions on its own trading interface would be delisted as of September 18. As per the statement, customers could not place new own orders from that time. A liquidity shortage also prompted the shutting down of operations after third-party market makers maliciously froze funds following a series of negative news on the exchange. According to local reports, the Hong Kong Police Commercial Crime Bureau arrested a JPEX linked social media influencer, Lam Zhu, who is accused of promoting the unregulated crypto exchange on the internet. Three central banks and monetary authorities and a group of over 30 financial institutions have begun beta testing, a new solution for interlinking central bank digital currencies from financial messaging service provider SWIFT. SWIFT explained that the news marks a new milestone as it aims to facilitate interoperability between fiat and digital forms of value. As the financial messaging service aims to enable CBDC interoperability, three central banks including the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and the National Bank of Kazakhstan have integrated the solution with their infrastructure for direct testing. Additionally, 30 financial institutions are experimenting with the solution in a new sandbox to explore further use cases. SWIFT named the Reserve Bank of Australia, Deutsche Bonds Bank, HKMA, Bank of Thailand and CLS as a selection of the participants involved in a second phase of sandbox testing. During this phase, commercial banks, central banks and financial market infrastructures will explore additional use cases including trigger-based payments for digital trade platforms, foreign exchange models, liquidity, saving mechanisms and delivery versus payment. Cryptocurrency exchange CoinEx, which recently suffered a breach, has called on the hacker to negotiate with the company while also promising a generous bounty reward if they decided to return the stolen assets. The notorious North Korean-sponsored Lazarus Group was identified as hackers behind the attack on CoinEx in an open letter. CoinEx stated that the hack incident served as a lesson for the company and made the team more aware of the importance of ensuring the robust security of assets on the platform. The letter, which was addressed to hackers, called for dialogue and negotiations with the actors responsible for the attack, noting that the stolen assets represented millions of customers who trust the crypto exchange. CoinEx also offered a generous bug bounty to the hackers if they returned the assets while also pledging to improve its security infrastructure. The firm further extended an invitation to the attackers to work with the company on the future upgrade of its security system. Shark Tank billionaire Mark Cuban re-engaged in the crypto space over the weekend after months of inactivity only to fall victim to a hack. One of the tech moguls crypto wallets saw losses of about $870,000 across various cryptocurrencies. However, he was alerted after on-chain sleuths noticed his wallet was being unusually drained, thus preventing further losses. An ex-user identified as Where's Crypto was the first to draw attention to the transfer, raising concerns about its suspicious nature late on Friday. After Cuban became aware of the purported attack, he transferred $2 million worth of USDC to Coinbase. And now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update on the buzzing coins of the day. First on the list, we have Cardano. Cardano launched its privacy sidechain Midnight in November 2022. The innovative solution, along with its native token Dust, is the part of the growing trend of zero-knowledge cryptography in blockchain privacy. Major platforms like Ethereum and Polygon are exploring innovative solutions in this area. Midnight, a protocol powered by zero-knowledge proofs, aimed to create secure, private and efficient blockchain applications on Cardano. It promised anonymity and a balance between privacy and transparency. Midnight empowered developers to create dApps with a data protection capabilities, allowing businesses and consumers to safeguard sensitive information using ZK-proofed smart contracts. It sets itself apart from existing platforms like the Cardano mainnet by verifying transactions without, uh, without exposing underlying data. Now, Midnight will be taking a step forward as developers and builders will be able to test the innovation when it launches on Davenet. ADA was trading at $0.24, up 0.01% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $8 billion. Next on the list, we have VeChain. After being added to the popular US cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, an altcoin with a business-oriented focus is now soaring. WeChain, a cryptocurrency initiative that offers logistical solutions using blockchain technology, was added to Coinbase's listing roadmap in June. 
This Monday, the cryptocurrency exchange declared that VET and its uh, gas token VTOR were open for trading. In order to manage supply chains and track products, Sunny Lu, a Chinese entrepreneur and a former executive of Louis Vuitton China, established VET in 2015. At the moment, it collaborates with well-known companies like Walmart and BMW. The VTOR token used to fuel the network's smart contracts is a proportionally distributed or digital asset created automatically and linked to the protocol's gas fees. However, VET was trading at $0.017, a down 0.80% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Next on the list, we have Arbitrum. Layer 2 blockchain base launched over a month ago has been gaining attention for its Ethereum scaling solution. Token Terminal, an on-chain analytics tool, reported that BASE was one of the top performing Layer 2 chains in terms of network fees surpassing popular chains like OP Minute and Arbitrum. This achievement highlights the success of the Coinbase ecos ecosystem's Layer 2. BASE, the first Layer 2 to launch initially outpaced competition to become the top Layer 2 with the most network fees collected. However, it it's too soon lost its position due to its reliance on the OP Stacks software, which powers OP Mainnet and uh, other emerging Layer 2s. Base pays either 2.5% or its revenue or 15% of its profits to the Optimism Collective. On September 14th, Base achieved its best ever transaction throughput with a daily average of 21.29 TPS compared to Arbitrum and OP Mainnet's 5.83 and 3.88 TPS respectively. However, today, Arbitrum was trading at $0.8 up, 0.22% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Next on the list, we have Shiba Inu. As Shiba Inu keeps expanding and reaching new records, Shiba Inu enthusiasts keep uh, setting millions of sheep on fire by moving them to addresses from which these tokens can never be extracted. This time, apart from uh, more than 100 million sheep burned, the good news for the Sheep Army includes Sheep developer Carl Dherrier sharing details of the team's plans to re-announce the bone contract. Tens of millions of sheep gets burned sheep burn as per data by the Sheep Burn Explorer, uh, which shares data on early sheep burns, has spread the word about a large amount of sheep transferred to unspendable blockchain wallets within the last 24 hours. This time, the enthusiasm of the Shiba Inu community has helped to remove a total 111 million sheep canine tokens from circulation, pushing the bond rate up 251.30%. The two largest transactions uh, here carried, uh, carried out by the whales have been 34 million sheep and 10 million sheep respectively. Shiba Inu was trading at 0.41% down in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $4.2 billion. Last on the list, we have Solana. Non-fungible token marketplace Magic Eden has announced that it will support Solana's compressed NFTs to provide a cost-efficient and scalable alternative to uh, owning digital collectibles. CNFTs are different from the usual Solana NFTs because their data are compressed and are stored off-chain. Because of this, production in larger quantities is more feasible as they require lesser fees to mint. Magic Eden suggests that CNFTs powered by Solana state compression are ideal for mass-produced collections in gaming, music events, and the metaverse. This allows creators to reach wider audiences without spending more. With the state compression feature, CNFTs can be minted for as many as $1 million, with just around $110, significantly lowering the cost of minting compared to Ethereum's $30 to $29 per NFT. Solana was trading at $19.12, up 0.89% in the last 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $7 billion. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website, www.3worstv.io, or scan the QR code.